Hi everyone, in today's session, I will guide you through the configuration module in ServiceNow. By the end of this session, you will understand what a configuration item is and how to create one. Before I move to the ServiceNow demo instance, let's first explain what a configuration item is. A configuration item is a component managed to deliver an IT service. CIs stored in CMDB can include hardware, software, devices, services, network, database, application facilities, servers, cloud resources, etc. Tracking CI is crucial for an organization as it helps monitor the dependencies such as upstream and downstream of components supporting IT services. Now, configuration items include all configuration details related to the CIs. For instance, a computer CI may contain information such as hard drive capacity, RAM, IP address, MAC address, install software, operating system, serial number, manufacturer details, warranty status, and usage history. In ServiceNow, creating a hardware assets also generate a linked configuration item record allowing easy tracking of both. You can also choose to create only CI without hardware asset when needed. Typically, the configuration management department tracks CIs to ensure business service availability, while the IT asset management department oversees the financial and physical life cycle of assets. So if you remember in our previous sessions, we have created, we created an Apple MacBook Pro hardware asset. So in that form, you can see the information was Apple MacBook Pro 14 inch with the asset tag Q1001. If I go to that sheet and if I open the configuration item, I will see the configuration item is created by the serial number and the asset information that is MacBook Pro 14 inches. Now you might be wondering What's the difference between an asset and a configuration item? So an asset such as computer or server is tracked primarily for its financial value to an organization. On the other hand, a CI can be an asset but not exclusively. It is tracked because it's directly impact one or more business services. For example, consider a SharePoint server while it's a physical hardware asset, it also serves as a configuration item because it runs the organization storage services. Tracking its configuration ensures seamless service for all end users. Now that we understand what a configuration item entails, let's proceed to create one in service now. Now we are in demo instance. I will demonstrate how to create a configuration item for a server. So we will go to the navigation bar and enter base item. Please note that this view doesn't include all configuration item module in the system. For a com complete list, search for configuration to display all available configuration module. Next, select the server module within the configuration application. Here you will find a pre-existing server configuration item records. We will go ahead, click on new button to proceed. This action will load a blank server form for you to fill out. While we create this configuration item, I will explain you each field, meaning to ensure you grasp all its attributes clearly. Now the first field is name. It is commonly used to store the host name or the computer name which is typically unique within an organization's network. For example, I will enter 01-SharePoint as I create a CI for a SharePoint server. Next comes the asset tag. Here we capture the physical asset tag applied by your organization. This tag number or code is usually unique within the organization. For example, I will type Q2001. Please note that many fields you see here are also found on the hardware asset form. 
these duplicated fields are synchronized so updating an asset tag field on either the hardware asset or the connected ci will automatically update it on the other record as well later in the session i will give you detail which fields are synchronized and their significance now next comes the manufacturer where you choose the manufacturer of the physical asset for example here i will select dell now in the next field we have asset which is grayed out and read only this field provides a link to the associated hardware asset it is important to note that if you create a configuration item against a model that use a model category with the asset class field set to none no hardware asset will be created and thus this field will remain empty for now this demonstrate how you create a standalone configuration item in service now for ca cases where it's purely a ci not designated as an asset now moving to the upper right of the form we find the company field here you can specify the company or the organization that owes the configuration item for example i will type acme switzerland this field is useful for tracking configuration item that not may that not be owned directly by the company for instance if assets are leased or rented you can indicate the company that owes them here next comes the serial number field here you can store the manufacturer's unique serial number which serves to identify a physical asset within the system for example i will use a random numbers here now next comes the model field this field corresponds to the model field of the hardware asset form here you can select the hardware model that this configuration item is associated with for example i will select dell power edge c6100 please note that because this configuration item is specifically for a server only hardware model categorized as a server will be available in this field next we have the assign to field where you can specify the individual to whom the server is assigned since the server isn't designed for an end user i will leave this field blank moving to the next section of this form this is where all fields rela related to the specific configurations are displayed because this configuration item is for server the display field are tailored to server attributes if i was creating a configuration item for a printer different fields rela relevant to printers would appear here given that this course focus on hardware asset management i won't you know dive into the detail of each field in this session of the form however at a high level you can input details such as operating system disk space ram and cpu etc etc tracking such in information is valuable as configuration managers can monitor key specification in real time this capability helps in decision making for task like computer refresh understanding re reason behind behind the incident and identifying devices needed upgrades now to save this configuration item i will go ahead and click on the submit button on the top right of the form now we will see that the configuration item that we have created is listed here now we can click on this form now you can see the asset field is populated with the hardware asset record by clicking the information icon and selecting the open record you can navigate to the newly created hardware asset record from there you can also navigate 
back to the configuration item by clicking on the open record. Now, before I conclude, I want to review which field on the hardware asset record and configuration item are synchronized. Now, on the left hand side of the screen, you will notice all the synced hardware asset field while on the right hand side, we have the synced configuration item field. What this entails is that any updates made to field in either the hardware asset or its connected CI item will automatically update the corresponding record. This synchronization guarantees that both the hardware asset and the configuration item record remains current with identical information. So this includes my session on configuration item. Thank you so much.